Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, your ever-friendly Poker Prof, and welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea PC Blind. When we last left off, we had found that Mr. L not Lamington, but um, uh, the other dude, Volcanus, had actually used demons to fight us. Not only that, but we also got Curtis back. He's a printy now. I love him. He's kind of cool. And he's actually pretty much reasonably geared. That's the one major difference, I think, compared to some of my other characters, is that a lot of them have items and equipment that are just not good for this level. Curtis has actually got good gear. Now, admittedly, he's a monster, so thus he's now where near as usable as a human now, but there's that. I also kind of wanted just to stop by over here real fast to summon assembly. Because, thanks to killing those uh, monsters, we're actually to summon their versions now. So we actually have a whole bunch of new monsters in here. That's what I was curious on what that particular monster was. So it's a sea dragon, huh? That's kind of interesting. Also, this game is like grinding personified when you gotta think. I've killed a bazillion zombies, because zombies have been everywhere in this game. I've killed three of the green dragons, and that's the lowest level dragon you can get. You either have to go through the item world, in which case these monsters I would think might be a little more plentiful, or you have to go back to those areas where we fought them and kill them at least 30 times to get cheaper experience. And I have nowhere uh, idea on where the heck... Um, like, multiple sea dragons of different colors and variants could be found, so... I kind of like it better with the way they have it for the humanoid classes, to where you unlock them by level. Also, I, once you hit level 50, you can actually go and make the strongest of that thing. So it's like we have the Geomaster, the Raider, and the Prophet now. Unfortunately, I'm going to keep Maddie and the others as they are in their base form, simply because going up here would reset them down to level 1. Poor Cleric is all alone. But yeah, so, yeah, there we go. We're actually getting all the uh, unlocks for a lot of the uh, rate for a lot of the classes in the game. But, now it's actually the time to go in. Oh! Oh! I thought... Oh! Oh! I thought that this was going to continue in Celestia. I didn't realize it was a flat-out new world. Oh, dear. Alright, so into the Inner Sanctum. Um, I'm a little frightened now. Let's... Fingers crossed and hope we can survive. Into the sanctuary. Hmm. So this is where the Seraph lives. I don't see much of value. Too bad. Hey, you were thinking of just stealing everything, weren't you, Etna? What was your reason for coming? Thievery. Shh. Quiet. You really think the Seraph's gonna find us that easy? Well, angels found us. This is the Seraphic Sanctuary. Those without permission to be here must leave the premises immediately. Who are they? Also, one thing to mention, because I don't know if I'm going to be showing it slash unlocking it anytime soon, but we actually do get the angels as an unlock for a uh, character class. They're pretty good from what I've been told, but you need like a level 100 of... Like, basically what Maddie is, you, ne you need a level 100 archer, and there's level 100 of at least one other thing. These are the angelic sentries. They will guard the Seraph at any cost. They are protected by a special force field, which is impervious to all forms of attack. Oh dear, I hope that's not literal, Flan. Have a weakness. You gotta overpower it. Also, why are you guys just talking in icons again? 
Why's the force field Thursday? Beep, beep, it's impervious. We're screwed. Beep, beep, flip, beep. Analyzing force field. 20%, 55%, 90%. Analysis completed. It has no weakness. Invincible. 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 Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. What? That's not fair. Gordon, when has life, especially in this game, been fair? It doesn't matter if there's a weakness or not. All we gotta do is blast them away with our power. Etna, we'll show these angels what we think of their force fields. Okay, Prince. And then she runs away. <gasps> Impressive. That had no effect. Impossible. I love how they basically use Giga Fire and Giga Ice there, despite neither of these characters knowing those spells. <laughs> Seems like it's a little too much for you two. Now it's our turn. How about you all attack together? Jennifer, Thursday, let's show them how it's done. Katoka Sentai style. Okay, Gordon. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Roger, Captain. Ultimate Defender, Defender Formation, Formation, Space Triangle. Triangle. I think that's the first time you actually hear a Thursday talk in a normal tone. Our formation attack isn't powerful enough either. And now we're gonna have frickin' uh, Curtis just soul them. Are they truly invincible? Probably not. It's not time to give up yet. Don't forget that you have me on your side. Let's combine our defender spirits together. Everyone together as one. True ultimate defender formation. Plasma Quartet! Okay. We get it, they're super powerful. Me. It didn't even make a scratch. No, attacking separately won't do any good. We must all unite our hearts. Is this all this level's gonna be just constant talking? Unite our hearts? Ugh, Harl. That's right. Whether we're angels, demons, or humans, we all share the same feelings. And if we focus those feelings together, we can accomplish anything! Okay. How can you say something like that with a straight face? Because she's an angel. Laharl! Alright, alright, so the point is we all attack at the same time, right? Bing bong! Then let's do it! On the count of three! One, two, Three. Then we get to see everyone's icons. Ah! Ooh, with kick-ass music too. Yeah! <laughs> and everyone yelling like a Super Saiyan. Okay, I love Thursdays the most. We'll form Captain Planet! Galaxy Omega Star! Holy crap! Yes! We've destroyed the force field! But we still got to fight them! We did it! Hey, Flan, did I hear something about love and friendship just now? Yes. Yes, you did. So what about it? Oh, good. Flan, getting smart with him. What do you mean, what about it? I keep telling you that I don't feel stuff like that. Then how did we succeed, Laharl? <laughs> Think whatever 
what you want, Laharo. Thank you, Flan. Goodness, someone's learning. What did you say? Uh, Prince, now that their force fields are down, isn't this our chance? Yes, let's attack them with all our yeah, might. But we'll continue this discussion later. Don't forget. Especially if it's only three okay, of them. Okay. Whew. He hasn't gotten any less stubborn, that's for sure. Oh well. All right, now after that long thing is over. Whoa, is it honestly only three? It's honestly only three. Neat. But I can see they're kind of really strong. They got really high defenses. And I'm definitely probably going to come back here off screen to try and steal that Worm Slayer. But that means grinding up Cooper at least to 75, so... I guess I'm gonna a little bit of grinding in my future. So fire, fire, and fire. Ooh, you're all weak to fire. You're all weak to flan. And Laharl for that matter. Alright, so let's go ahead and focus on yes. See, there's that. much as I would love to get the others up to you in time, it's not going to work. I'm also going to try and spread out just a little bit. I don't need you all having, like, spells and whatnot to kill us. Actually, speaking of which, you do probably have spells. See, ice, wind, and wind. Alright. And healing, by the looks of it as well. Let's go here. Special Omega Ice. See, so you're strong against ice. You're neutral. And you're neutral. So let's make sure that you're dead first. And just kind of get everyone else out best I can. So you get Cooper out. And Curtis. Just cuz Curtis. I'm my oh yeah, wow. I knew these guys were gonna be tanky, but still. Wow, they did not like Shiva at all. Holy crap. Alright, so... Flan, go ahead and gigafy her. Laharl, let's go ahead and just hurricane slash you. You go ahead and attack there. And let's just box you in best we can. We'll because you're probably going to be the most dangerous out of the lot with that weapon. Let's see, Giga Wind. There we go. That should be just about it. I'm not surprised you're flipping tanky as heck. Itchy, itchy. Sorry, folks, got a small scratch on my hair. It's like, Die. Ah. Die. Die. Ooh, that sword hurts. Die. Dang it. Oh, who else can I pull out? 
Only one, so come on, let's get Cooper out. Get you, since you're the closest Booyah! to death. Dang it. I was hoping to kill at least one of y'alls. Die. 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 Alrighty then. So first things first. Let's just actually attack the one that's lowest. Booyah! Get Cooper some experience. Get him out of there. You should be fairly easy to kill with Fisher there. Get you out of the way, Flan. Special Gigafire there. See Hurricane Slash. Just attack. And this should be it. Actually. Well, make sure you're attacking the right target there. And then get Curtis in behind. And just for added measure, this should kill you. Now we watch the dominoes fall. Actually, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting. There we go. That was a heck of a lot easier than I thought. Uh, <laughs> uh you know what? I'm gonna risk it. It's a. Sh if I were to end it here, it'd be a short episode. And that name, that name, I, I have to do it. Forgive me, but I have to do it. And in the Hall of Justice. Master Volcanus. Hey, Volcanus. Because you were just a trainee, I underestimated you. That's because you're stupid. But now that you've defeated greater demons, as well as angelic sentries, I must recognize your strength. Uh-huh. What's going on? He got so serious all of a sudden. Did he hit his head or something? Nah, he's just actually treating us like a threat now instead of idiots. Beats me. These angels, you never know what they're thinking. Um, were you referring to me too? Yes. Very yes. Of course I was. Heart. Silence! Where are your manners? We have no manners for a villain like you. Don't you wish to know my true purpose? Yeah, sure. Your purpose? <laughs> I bet it's just some selfish fantasy. No, if he thought it was necessary to involve the Earth in humankind, then it must be something really important. He just wanted to control the world. Mwahaha. Mwahaha ha ha. You are correct. My goal is noble indeed. All right, tell us, Volcanus. To become the absolute ruler of the entire universe. That's not noble. Absolute ruler? Oh, gee, I'm disappointed. Like Curtis said, you're just fulfilling a selfish fantasy. Pretty much. No, 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 no. Heavens forbid. It is not for my own benefit. Honestly, with the way his voice actor is portraying him, he honestly sounds legit. Peace can only be established in the universe under the watchful eye of an omnipotent ruler. Master Volcanus? That is your goal? I get it now. Volcanus, in his own way, is actually wanting peace. But he feels that the only way to do it is through someone who has absolute control. I can understand that line of thinking. I don't agree with it, but I can understand it. But as chaotic as the world, especially if you involve demons and humans... It can be really hard to control something. Having someone who is all-powerful that no one can basically talk back to or disagree with. Making all the decisions. Yeah, yeah, I can see how someone like that might find the world peaceful. 
I also call it a dictatorship, but here we are. But peace is not something that can be achieved by the will of one individual. Mm-hmm. It is only possible when everybody joins hands and works together. Agreed. You are too naive, Flan. Such a pacifistic approach is doomed to fail because of these deceitful demons and foolish humans. Uh-huh. That's not true! Demons and humans are capable of... Silence! What do you know about this? She's lived with them for the last how long this game is going on for? I am all too aware. Their cruelty, their vileness in their hearts. Says the angel who has just the same capabilities. Master Volcanus. He's not going to listen to you, Flan. Unfortunately. Well, maybe he'll be more submissive with a little physical persuasion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Prince, I hope you didn't mean it that way. <laughs> okay, okay, Etna. The time has come. I will eliminate you and deal with the Seraph next, and then I will be a god from this day forth. I shall be known as Volcanus, the Peace Bringer! Uh-huh, we're gonna bring peace to you, all right. All right. Oh, we got a selection of angels here. They're not that strong, though. Only 55. Why? Really? Okay, that's a little bit more what I expected with the six. Oh, my God. Oh my god, this is a lot bigger of an area than I thought it would be. At 60, oh my gosh, and then 70s. These are going to be 75, aren't you? No 70. Ooh, Volcanus himself is an 80. Weak to wind, okay. I gotta keep Maddie alive through all this hell. Alrighty then, so I'm going to be relying heavily on my physical attackers for this bit. Simply because I don't really have a way to refresh my mana at all. I mean, I do, but I don't think I have that much, actually. No, I don't even have all that much at all. Okay, then. Sort. So, yeah, I'm going to be heavily, heavily, heavily relying on my physical attackers here. I just hope that none of those guys up top activate until I get closer to them. I'm starting to regret going in Halls of Justice immediately, but oh well, I did say I wanted to do longer episodes, so yay, I guess. Alright, uh, let's get Curtis out here. I'm sorry, it's like, I, even though he's a monster, I have to have Curtis. Uh, Cooper, we're not stealing anything. I mean, actually, hang on. Mirage, Golden Axe. I could probably steal, but... Eh, nah, not worth it. Alright. Well, thank you for only hitting one. Oh, Die. yeah. We should be Die. good. All right, Laharl. We want to do a uh, blade rush. We also want to focus on uh, hitting as these guys as much as we can with the entire group. There we go. You are dead. Or close to it. Now you're dead. So I think this is the level where it really comes into flavor of you want to make sure that everyone can get in and do a surround, uh, surround attack. Because otherwise... You want major ma AOE hitting abilities. Only Curtis. On 
Boo, only Curtis. Ah, uh, really? Actually, hang on. Wind cutter? Alright, let's do this. Move you up here. Special wind cutter. And then you can do that. And can even go back here. Do that. Awesome. Oh, and that should be equals her death. Yep, awesome. And let's just go ahead and move the girls up a bit. Because they've got the lowest movement speed out of the entire crew. I wonder if I can pot shot anyone from here with... Yes, actually, I can. Let's pot shot the weaker. Hopefully that will actually draw them to him. Oh dear. Repent. Die. Pray. Repent. Alright, so the other guys have activated. Die. Let's just hope Repent. that they don't go and Die. kill us. Repent. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, good. Okay, bad. Okay, first things first. We want to... As much as I want to show off Omega Heal, Mega Heal is probably the better one to choose from right now. There we go. Everyone's nice and healed up. Counter. Awesome. Alright, let's move you over here. Move you over here. That should be your end turn for now. And can you actually... Uh, no, I didn't think so. That should kill you, though. Alright. That should kill you. Good. Alright, Laharl. Let's do Wing Slayer now. Yeah, no one's in the way, so that should do massive damage to those guys. Alrighty then, and you are ice. Two ice weak and one strong, but. That's more than enough for me to at least do Giga Ice without too much issue. Because I'm wanting to conserve mana for this. Awesome. And you, madame, are weak to wind. Maddie's already healed. So let's just go ahead and just attack you regularly with the others. Actually, let's go ahead and just do a uh, kick of fire, cause yeah, you don't resist. I have you now. I'm giving my all. All right. Die. Counter. Dang it. Well, there's more of those Die. angels coming. Repent. Oh, you're dead. Pray. You are so dead. Die. Repent. Oh boy. All right, so Curtis, just finish them off. Yeah, just finish them off, right? Right now. More than enough. Alright, I don't... Ooh. Oh, you... Okay. Uh, I don't think Blade Rush... Yeah, I didn't think so. Will Wingslayer work? Yes, it will. Okay. Uh, Maddie, 
go ahead and make a heal up on Shiva. And let's see how this turns out. Here I come. That's pretty pretty impressive. Alright, you are weak to but one in the back's weak to ice. And my melee characters can't reach up there just yet. Alright, so we want Giga Ice on you. And we want Giga Fire on you. And you can actually hit from that point, so let's go ahead and do that with you. Actually, and you can also attack there as well, so let's do this. Those three should activate. There we go. Die. Thankfully, the archers aren't all that good. This is their dangerous ability, and they're going against the weak Brains. character. Die. Alrighty then. Alright, let's get you out of the way, purple. So Laharl can do another Wing Slayer. Here I come. Awesome, and you are all weak to random things, so... Let's just go ahead and smack you with my magic best I can. This should be the end of you guys. And everyone else, I can just go ahead and do this normally. Awesome. Ooh, you actually can get up high enough there to distract those guys. I'll start moving everyone else up there too to make things a little easier. Because we need to try to keep everyone else alive as best we can. So, Maddie, you're, you're pretty much strictly on healing duty from this point onward. Repent. Die. Yeesh. Die. That's dead Etna, at the very least. Oh Die. my god, how did Etna survive? Die. Oh god, Flan. Alright, Flan, yeah, get up here. You get back here. Maddie. We want Mega Heal. And that should be enough for that. Colossal Fisher, you, and on the off chance you survive. Actually, let's do it this way. There we go. And then off the off chance you survive, Laharl can finish you off. Alright. Miss. Oh, that actually hit. I'm happy. And then Lahara, you can finish her off. Awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and move you here. Because you can do your lion's roar. And 
Y'all are not all that weak against fire, so let's go ahead and do Giga Fire. So I could hit everyone except for him. I can move her high enough. I doubt it from this angle, but Giga Ice. Oh wow, it actually worked. Awesome. Then after you two, I think all we have is Lamington. Uh, not Lamington. Bleh. Keep saying the wrong name. Volcanus. Okay. Yeah. So we're almost done already. It's actually going a little bit faster than I thought it would. Die. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That's a dead Shiva. That's a dead Flan. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... You can uh, call the Fisher you. You can do... I didn't think so. I just go ahead and attack. Go ahead and attack. And uh, this should be it. And Manny, I'm actually going to keep you up there on there just on the off chance this doesn't work. Okay, that worked. And boom. Alright, Manny, go up here and. Do a good mega heal on these guys. Alright, now we just gotta wait for Volcanus to come down. Oh wow, and he didn't even come down far enough for me to attack him. Alright, Maddie, I'm gonna keep you way out of the fight if I can help it. I'm actually going to move everyone out into positions just so on the off chance that Volcanus actually has... Actually, no, I'm going to move you back here. Just on the off chance Volcanus has something big I'm not expecting. Live, Manny, live, 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 live. Oh my god. Alrighty then. Everyone, beat the ever loving crap out of him. Special. We want Mega Heal. We want All Around. And I can't do anything else, so... Actually, hang on. Did I pull out everyone I could from this? Yes, I did. Okay. And I had to do it where I can't see a dang thing. I am smart, apparently. The suspense is killing me. Oh, he has counters. Oh, cool, he's just attacking. I'm fine with that. I am completely fine with that. How much damage did we do? Not that much. Oh, well. So what does he have on him? Oh, he's considered to be a regular monster, huh? Okay. This hopefully should finish you off. And we want to actually just make a heal the ones he hurt, which are Etna and King. There we go. 
just slowly whittle this guy down. He actually hits hard, jeesh. Ooh, Etna. Mega heal on Etna. And just continue spamming all the abilities I've got. Wow, that wasn't even a full heal. Here I come. Oh, he's almost dead. Alright. Oh, that's a... Uh... But to be fair, he's dead too, so the question is who I want to get the experience. Going mostly to characters who don't need it. How can this be? We're better than you. Simple as that. My goal, my duty, my dream. They've all been shattered by these heathens. Have you still not realized it, Master Volcanus? It's because you don't have friendship. You wanted to bring peace to the universe regardless of the means. Even if you had succeeded, could you call it true peace? Probably not. Please consider us as an example, Master Volcanus. We have worked together to come this far with our hearts united as one. I'm pretty sure about everyone else except Laharl. Can this not be considered the first step towards peace? No, probably not. Ha <laughs> ha! Enough of your idealistic ramblings. You thought your misguided words would convince me to repent? My beliefs cannot be shaken so easily. Uh-huh, you're basically a psychopath. The game's not over yet. I'll just convince the Seraph to finish the job for me. You and he can kill each other. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to convince the Seraph that easily, dude. <laughs> you expect him to f believe you so easily. Brat, we let him escape. Any normal villain would have been moved to tears by those words and begged for forgiveness. How many have actually done that with you, Goran? I honestly am curious about that number. His conviction is strong. He won't change his mind so easily. Of course. He intends to start a fight between us and the Seraph. Mm hmm? He'll probably make us look like the bad guys and tell the Seraph some horrible lies. Most likely. How does he come up with all these dirty tricks? It's really too bad that he's an angel. He would make a model demon, definitely. Well, it looks like a battle with the Seraph is inevitable. Are you ready for it, Flan? No. Definitely not. Yes! Eh? I don't know exactly what will happen, but I must tell Master Lamington everything that's on my mind. Everything that you've learned throughout all this, I bet. I know he'll understand. I see. Then tell him straight to his face. Mm -hmm. I will. All right. And with all that, we are, I believe, I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out after I look it up. But I believe the Sacred Altar is the very last level of the game. Especially with the way everything's been building up, I think we're there. 
And when I say last level, I mean like last level story-wise. There's a bunch of other extra stuff in this game, especially considering the maximum level for characters is something like, what, 9,999 or something like that. But as far as this LP is concerned on the blind side of things and, you know, showing off the story, we're almost there. But we'll just have to see how things turn out. But next time, folks, we're going to go into the Sacred Altar and hopefully bring an end to Volcanus' plan. Until then, folks, stay frosty.